a thin disk of mass and radius are is kept on rough surface and given an angular velocity omega naught about an axis passing through the center and perpendicular to plane find the time taken by the disk to come to rest i think this is quite very familiar thing which you know it you take any some uh, square plate anything i took circular disk and just spin it on a horizontal table <coughs> and release it it will spin for certain time and come to rest no? what made it to come to rest the friction is asking the time taken so how to bring that time taken from here how that friction will act how the torque is set up now there is a very fundamental thing which a student must know okay let's get into the I need some space here. I'll, I'll adjust here. Huh? Try it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'll, I'll just search for some space here. Yeah. This is about the rough diagram which I, I just gave. If you are unable to imagine anything you can take help of this another diagram and let's get into the question now so let's get into the bottom bottom of the disk we will just make a notice of that the disk is given angular velocity omega naught and let me assume a circular strip yeah fine yeah. so let of radius r thickness dr this is of radius capital r if you are getting confusion small let me write x and then how how the friction should act on this on at at every point the friction should act tangentially you know at every point not not at one point where the friction friction is acting at all points on the disk so let, let me just choose some reference point here so on this element how, how the linear velocity of this element will be v like this then how the friction will act friction will act in this direction so let me take that as df so this df is acting on one element like this at all points when i when i get it no? so that will act tangentially the friction acting the resultant friction acting on this elemental ring i'm just showing that as df not on one element not on one element it is on the elemental ring is what i'm showing that one so what is the mass of this elemental ring dm i think we can easily calculate no so we know sigma m by pi r square so what is the mass of this dm should be equal to sigma into 2 pi x dx area of this strip already you, you know enough at so enough in center of mass everywhere it came or even in moment of inertia also we discussed it area of this particular circular strip is sigma into 2 pi x dx then what is the df value df value should be equal to mu into dm into g substituting this mu 2 pi x dx into g this will set up a torque no so that is d tau equal to df into r df is okay df into x mu 2 pi x dx g into x. So what is the total? This one 
टू पाई म्यू जी एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स तो लेट मी गो फॉर इंटीग्रेशन नो टॉर्क अबाउट पॉइंट टू is telling axis here it's a fixed axis rotation it is not permitted to move like previous problem some of you are asking this i'll, I'll make axis fixed here means the disk is not permitted to have a translative motion only it can rotate and due to rotation come to rest I, shall i put fixed axis 2 uh, pi mu g x square dx so what should be the limit no 0 to capital r so 2 pi this should be tau not so tau not should be equal to 2 pi mu g r cube by 3 this is a net torque acting how do this torque will act this torque will act in this direction opposite to angular velocity so the resultant torque will be acting like this so it will undergo retardation Now look at this torque. Is it constant or variable? Let, let's calculate angular acceleration. Let, let's get into. Ah, uh, sigma is missing. Ah. Uh. Oh, where is sigma? Sigma should come. Yeah, yes, someone. Sigma should be there. Two pi mu sigma. Is it okay now? Fine. After this, two pi mu sigma g r cube by three. Uh, what is the moment of inertia of the disk? M r square by two into alpha o should be equal to two pi mu sigma g r cube by three. So what is alpha naught? Alpha naught is equal to four pi mu. Sigma g r by 3m. Sigma further you can write as m by pi r square. Because sigma is what we we assumed it. <coughs> Four pi mu sigma is m by pi r square g r. By three m. So, so what is the final answer? I think pi will also get cancelled. Four four mu g three r. How to get the time taken? Zero equal to omega naught minus alpha naught into t nu. after this time we'll come to rest very important at many other chapters this idea like this the talk due to friction we are going to take into consideration i'll scroll down it they may ask you angular acceleration or or all different <coughs> ways of just asking few, few fundamentals i think i don't think so this is something very big here they just substitute here 4 mu g 3 r here you'll get the t no 